Hey YouTube, so in this video I'll be showing you how to build this second filter I have over here. This one is a swirl filter I just posted last week and today I'll be showing you how I built this one. This is a, kind of a mechanical filtration you'll see in the video. The second filter goes from my swirl filter over here into this one. I'll be showing you how to build that. You can see it in action. I'll put more of the filter media, the mesh when I get it, but that's in general how it looks. These are two of the filters I have. I do plan on building a bio filter later and putting it over there as well as a radio flow filter if I can get the materials later on. But these are the two filters I have so far and in this video I'll be showing you how I built this one. I'm not sure the name of the filter but what I will be using to build this one is a 55 gallon drum, some PVC and a poster board. So first what you want to do is first you want to cut the 55 gallon barrel and then I'll show you from there. So now that we've finished cutting it and cleaning it out we can drill the holes to put the uni seals in. So first off we want to drill some pilot holes. I already have all the places marked off for the places I need to be drilled out. So I am using all three two inch places. You can see here and then a one inch for the drilling at the bottom. So first we'll just Take a normal drill bit and drill the pilot hole so it makes it easier for the we have the hole saws to make the bigger bigger holes. So now we got the pilot holes pilot hole drilled. We'll use these hole saws to make the holes. So for a one inch uni sail, I'm using an inch and three quarters to make the hole. I'll post a link below which has um, a chart that shows you what size you need for the different unisills and what size unisills you need for the pipe. So I'm using for a one inch pipe. Now for the two inch holes, we'll use a three inch um, hole saw to make those holes for the two inch unisills. Now that we got those holes drilled, what we want to do is shave away all the different little pieces of plastic on the side and then rinse it out so we get the plastic away. So what I like to do for that is either come with just a simple file or a knife that also helps to shave away all the little things. So yeah, the filter that I'm building is I guess you can say sim similar to a radial flow filter. Um, the concept is that it has these different barriers made out of this, um, you know, the signs people use on the street to advertise. I'll cut different pieces of it to be more clear when it's out, and then have them laid in here. So the one will go um, from the top all, all the way until like right here, and then the water will come through here, have to hit the barrier, and have to go all the way down. And then I'll have another one that goes from the complete bottom and then up, complete bottom and then up, and then stop like around there. And then the water will have to overflow there. So um, the concept is that the water will hit the barrier, all the debris will go down, and then the clean water will have to come up and exit out through there. So yeah, that's just how this one works. I actually don't know the exact name of this. I don't know what it's called, but the aquaponics filter. As you can see in this drawing, the water comes in from the left, it hits the barrier, then it has to go down, and then it hits another barrier and the water has to go back up and then through the other pipe and out into my aquaponic system. So the idea is that when it hits the barrier, all the settlement settles to the bottom and then the fresh water and the clean water has to come back up. So that's just how it works. So yeah, finish shaving these down, give it a rinse, and I'll be back to show you how to finish it off. So now I have the holes done, I just rinsed out all of the different particles of plastic that came about from drilling it. So to put the uni seals on, what you want to do is first, um, you can either use water or some rubbing alcohol, works as well. Rubbing alcohol is actually better. So you just put it on a paper towel. And then what you want to do is go about the holes, the outside and the inside of each of the holes. Then you want to take your uni seals and do the same thing. Just rub them around with some rubbing alcohol. 
and stick them in. And there you go, that's how you install the uni sill. So you have three two inches going across the top and then one one inch at the bottom which is the drain. So yeah, that's that. Now that we have the uni seals in, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut this or to fit inside and put the different pieces in there and then put the pipes in and connect it to the aquaponic system I'm building. So I'll cut this up and I'll be right back. So I got some of the pieces cut already for the PVC. So this is the drain drain plug at the bottom. It is a ball valve attached to um, a threading, a male threading or a female threading to this normal PVC. It will go at the bottom here just to drain it when I need to clean it. So it is always tough to put PVC through these holes, but this is way I have to get a lubricant, but I prefer to use water to make it wet, the tube, and then, as well as the inside of the pipe of the box, or the uni seal, and then just shove it through there. We got that one in there. Then what I'll do is put a 90 in, I'll show you it more in detail with the camera. Um, that's to suck the water up from the bottom. Just to show you that. There's the exit for the valve at the bottom. And then on the inside, I have a 90 at the bottom. That is to suck out all the water or the gunk that gets um, left at the bottom. Attach the. This is the overflow valve. This will be the highest point just in case anything does um, get clogged, which I do doubt, but better to be safe than sorry. This will go directly to my sump tank. Now that I got that in there, I will put. And 90th end. And then, look at this. This will go down to my sump tank and the other, the other filter. So now we'll put the different pieces in to construct the actual filter process. So as I said before, I am using the kind of poster board that I'll put inside. So I cut two different pieces of it. Um, this one will be in the front. It has this little opening at the bottom where the water can flow through and then come back up and this will be directly at the bottom. And then I also decided to use some filter mesh. Um, I can post a link where you can get it on Amazon. I got it on Craigslist for cheap. But this will allow for um, mechanical filtration. So things will be able to get stuck in here as it goes through the process. So I'll, be, I'll just show you how it's set up. So what I'll do first is put in these big sheets. I had to cut them to fit in here. So they will sit on the sides of the valve at the bottom, the exit valve. And then this is the overflow valve, just in case. So yeah, when I cut these pieces, I use, put tape across it to make the straight line and then use the scissor um, to cut them. And then I have the, the other smaller pieces that go in the inside. This one will go over here. This other one I cut like that to fit over the valve at the bottom. As you can see down there. But basically, yeah, it sits like that, like a little mesh basket. So I have some extra pieces I just put in just around there. If I ever do find more, I'll cut pieces and put them in here to fill it up so it creates the a better barrier. So then this is where the water will be coming in from the other filter. 
then I'll have this thing sitting in here. Um, let me just put them in there and I can show you how they look. So this is how it looks with the different barriers inside. Um, there's the one and here's the other. So the water will come in through this tube coming from my other filter, go down here and have to go through the bottom and come back up and then go over here and come out here. So that's how this works. It is both settling and mechanical. Um, so yeah, that's a, a, a filter you can set up for your aquaponics if you want. As I said before, if I can find some more cheap, I'll put some in here to fill that up. But that's how it looks. I'll attach it to my other filter. So yeah, thank you for watching. In that video I showed you how to build this mechanical filter I have over here. Um, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Otherwise, please give a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe.